Hello there and welcome to the Mobile Academy and if you want to become a job ready Flutter developer make sure to check out the courses on my website mobileacademy.io here you will find all of the courses related to the Flutter development you will find the professional course as well as the basic course related to the Flutter you can also find some of the uh, free courses over here if you want to just go and try it out or if you are just a beginner on the Flutter and then the React Native you can also find the free course over here and if you would like to be a full stack developer we also have the course related to the full stack developer related to the uh, node.js express mongodb as well as the flutter over here and if you would like to join the uh, flutter bootcamp there is also a bootcamp course over here so make sure to go and check out the course over here there are free and then they paid codes and if you want to be a job ready flutter developer this is the course that you would want to take so see you guys on the next lesson till then have a great day let us continue with our lesson over here and today we are going to learn about the uh, fridge package with the uh, flutter river part over here and if you go to the documentation or if you go to the pub that they with the fridge over here and it's just the um the another code generator tool for the code generator tool for the data class unions and then the cloning Basically, if you want to create the data class or let's say if you want to create a model in the Flutter, it's quite cumbersome. So you need to basically um, write a lot of the uh, boilerplate code over here. And if you come over here, you can see that the data is awesome, but defining a model can be tedious, right? And you have to define a constructor properties, overriding the two string and then also the uh, operators equals to operator has code, right? And all of those and you also have to do the uh, implement a copy with method to clone the object and uh, handling the uh, the serialization as well as the serialization that's the lot of the tasks that you have to do and if you take a look in the example over itself you'll see that this is the uh, the class or the data class that we have but if we use the phrase you can see that we how much of the code that we can remove just by using the phrased package over here it's really helpful and there are other packages like the equitable if you are familiar with the flutter ball block package there we basically use the um, the equitable right but we can also use a phrase over there and uh, let's go and see how we can uh, actually go and make use of this particular phrase with our flutter river part over here and to generate our model and then the data or, or the state class with uh, the custom set class in or with the flutter river part we'll be using this particular phrase package so let's go to the installation so there are a couple of the uh, dependencies that we need to install before we get started first thing is they need to add the flutter annotation so let's just go and add the uh, flutter pub uh, add the phrase annotation just run this particular command in your uh, terminal over here this should go and add that particular package over here next we need to add the build runner since we need to generate a code and to generate the code we need a build runner so that should be added to the dev over here so that should be our dev dependency so it should go over here right and next we also need to add the phrase itself so let's just copy that and add it over here so let's just add it to the dev dependency that that one as well so we just need a phrase annotation so uh, we can use the annot class annotation over there and we have added the build runner and then the phrase but there are also a couple of the things like if you want to um, generate a from json and to json so like if you are connecting to the api or if you have to uh, serialize and deserialize the json then you can also make use of the json annotation so it's not required over here but i will just go and add it over here so in case later in the future if you want to connect to the api and do some um the serialization and deserialization of the json data so let's just go and add it over here so once we add all of the dependencies uh we are good to go so this is just for the dart project so now what we want to do over here is uh, you can just go and read the documentation over here. So it's a good practice as I mentioned previously that you should always go and read the documentation. And uh, 
once you have to read the documentation you should be much more clear for you to understand how to get started but to use it with the uh, flutter river pod what we need to do is we need to generate a custom class over here and we will generate a model class over here so let's go to our leaf folder and uh, let's go and create the one a new folder that will be of the uh, model itself and uh, let's just win create the new file and let's just call this one as the user uh, let's just call it the user dot the dart file over here let's create the uh, class over here and then that will be of the user itself and let's just go and have that one and let's just go and anoint the uh anoint it with the freeze and that need to import this particular package which is of the freezed annotation that we have added it over here so once we have that and uh, what we can do is we will just go and make use of with the underscore del of the user so that is what the flutter uh real part is uh, that the freeze package is going to use so we need to create the factory constructor over here and in the factory constructor, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create the properties over here. So uh, one is of the username and let's add the another one is the age and I guess uh, the email and also I'll just go and add the uh, ID over here itself. So that is of the type of the int and that should be fine. So this will be our, our data class or the model or user model over here and once we have to generate it we need to add the part file because uh, we need to generate the freezed the user that the freeze dot the dart file and now uh, let's go and make use of the other functionality so we don't want to make this a required field to uh, just construct the user so what we can do over here is i'll just go and make use of the add uh, a default that is all let's just go and add this one so the default add default and the default value will be of the minus one for this particular int and add the uh, default itself for the user and i'll just go and give the empty string for the username i'll just copy all of this over here and paste it over here as well and if you take a look that we have some error so basically this particular error is coming from one of the um, the extension that I've installed which is of the error uh, lens over here so you can just go and install this one if you want to go and uh, see this particular the error that we have defined over here so uh, that's the extension that I'm using so if you want you can just go and install but it's not required so once we have this what we need to do is uh, we need to go and generate this particular uh, the data class right so i got i hope you got the point we can make use of the default over here right so this is of the default it's also coming from the freeze annotation so we can define the default value for all of this right so we don't want to have the required field and if you want you can also make it as a required but i don't want to have a required field so i can just go and construct the user object without uh, passing any of the um, the required value right so let's just go and write the uh, flutter and then the pub run and that's not the epub flutter uh, pub run right so flutter pub run build runner underscore build runner build dash d so it should go and delete the existing uh, the cache file or the generated file so let's just go and run that one so that should generate as the uh, new phrased file over here as the part file that we have mentioned over here so now you can see all of the error has gone and if you go over here uh, you will see that all of these has been generated for us right so this is the generated class you should not go and edit or modify this particular field over here so the this that the edge has some errors so let's just go and see what went wrong this that the edge is an int so we uh, provided a default once i'll just go and say the uh, minus one or zero or whatever default value that you want to provide over here but i'll just go and set it as the minus one so i i know that that's the default value the minus one right and once we have that the error should be gone that's cool so we have the user 
model now or the data class generated for us next we'll just go and create the okay so let's just go and create the our new folder again so we need to generate some state class or the custom state that will be of the let's say a state uh, folder itself and here we'll just go and create the uh, user underscore the state dot the dot file itself so let's just go and create the class of the uh, user state as well uh, UJ state and I'll just go and import the freeze package that we have that should import the freeze annotation and I have to make use width and width will be underscore the user state and over here we need to create the uh, factory constructor over here as it will be of the uh, user state as well and uh, in the user state I'm just going to let's just go and close it over here first of all so here what we want to define is the state that we have so state will be of the uh, the list of the uh, user or uh, model that we can import over here and let's call this one as the user so i don't want to make it as a nullable value so i want to give give a default value for this one and for now you should know that to make use of the default what we can do is using the phrase at the or default we can and pass in the list so this will be of the list over here list of the uh, user so by default it's an empty list over here so let's just go and uh, close it over here and let's just go and create the uh, part file over here as well so that will the user state the default file over here and I guess that should be the one and from here I need to go and return itself the um, the user state right so that is what we have provided over here so if you go and take a look into the user model so if you want here like the to JSON or from JSON you can obviously go and add it but in the state we don't require the to JSON and all of the stuff right but on the serialization and the serialization so here once we got that uh, what i will do is i'll try to remove all of this error so let's just try to go and generate the code over here and once the code is generated you can see all of the error has been gone and then it has generated this particular file for us all right so that is the generated class and what we can do now is let's just go and add some more state over here at the i'll just make use of the default over here so add the uh at this one so it should be of the default itself and first i'll say it as the false and that will be of the each it's loading so that will be of the bool and each of the each loading itself and add the r uh, default itself and that will be of the so i don't want to okay so let's let's not make use as the default over here so let's just say this is of the type which of the string uh, not the stream so strng string and the nullable type over here and that will be of the error so we have the loading state error state and then the data or the success state which will be of the list of the user so let's just go and regenerate the uh, let's run the build runner again and that should generate that particular uh, class for us and let's wait for this to complete okay so that's cool so now we have generated the data class and now what we have to uh, what we have to do is we we have created this state over here a custom state so let's go to the provider or what i can do is let's just go and create the uh, new folder and let's just call this one as a view model controller and whatever the state um, the you want to call it right so depending on your architecture that you're using so let me just call as a simple view underscore the uh, model this one so that is going to hold all of our state right so let's just go call this one as a view model itself and inside this particular view model let's just go and create uh, create the class that's going to hold all of our state and i'll call this one as the uh, user view model dot the dot file so we'll create the uh, class of the uh, user view model itself and as you can remember previously we need to extend this one right so he extends and the notifier so i'll just go and make use of the simple uh, notifier over here and then you know that we need to provide this state over here so previously we are just 
providing the int or the string but now we have a custom state class that we are going to provide it that will be of the user state so let's just go and import that one so we got the user state now as the um the noti uh, that is going to be of the the notifier is going to provide us the um the state of the user state that we have a custom uh, state class that we defined so let's just go and uh, overwrite and this should return our user uh, state right so let's just go and return from here uh, let's just go and return the uh, user user state from here and let's just go and close it over here and we can just call this one or make this one as a const as well and now we have this particular a uh, view model uh, a user view model that is going to hold all of our user state and if you go and take a look the default is of the false but if you want to set it as a loading what you can also do is go to the view model and pass it in the constructor as a is loading to be of the uh, true so that should go and update the state uh, once the once we instantiate our uh, user view model over here so once the user view model is instantiated it's going to update our state of the is loading to be of the true and the next thing that we do is we need to create the provider as you can sorry this would be of the final so we know already we need to pass it the notifier class here and then the state so right so we need to provide the notifier class and then the state so current state the uh, the that we have defined over here or that we have passed the generic type to the notifier is the user state that is what we have right and now if i go back to my uh, any of the screen so let's just go and say the user and if i want to uh watch that one so let's say a final uh users and if i go and say the ref dot the ref dot the watch over here and that will be of the uh, users it should be of the users oh uh, let me take a look so users it should be of the users not the user so let's just go and set it as the usgrs users notifier sorry for that uh, user a uh, notifier so it should be of the users notifier this should return us now the user state so if i go and take a look at the uh, uh, users that we have then now i can access the state so each loading is there error is there and as well as the uh, user the list of these so i can access the state all of those uh, states that we have right so that's pretty cool so now we are able to provide a custom class to our notifier right using the uh, phrase to generate our data class or the model over here so we created a custom state over here and also we created a custom uh, a model class using the phrase package and also a custom uh, the state class using the phrase package as well and now we are able to make use of the custom state in our the provider uh, or, a, or in the notifier itself right so we make use of the notifier and now we can make use of the custom uh, state class over here so now here we can provide the custom class that we have created our state class that is of the user state over here and this class we have created using the phrase itself and if you want you can also go and make use of the other packages or just create your own um, um, the data class using the dot uh, itself right without using an empty package but using the phrase it makes us a lot more easier to handle all of the use cases that we need in our flutter river pod and it's quite concise right so it's not it doesn't have a lot of the boilerplate code but only thing is that it generates the code for us right the, uh, it makes use of the code generator if you don't like the code generator tools then um, you can just go and make use of the other packages, right? Equitable or the Dart default the, the class to generate the um, your own the model. So uh, I guess that's all for this lesson. So we learn how we can implement a create a custom class and uh, as a state and implement our notifier with the custom itself. And also we learn about the phrased packets as well. So that's all for this lesson and we will meet up in the next one. Till then, have a great day.